my name is Vanessa and I'm so glad you clicked this video. We are going to go through some yoga postures, one for each area to activate the chakra in that specific area. So we'll start at the base of the spine, the root chakra, and work our way up with a meditation at the end for the crown chakra. It's going to be a kundalini meditation, the Kirtan Kriya, and it is a really beautiful and um, very energetic meditation, and I'm really excited to share it with you. We will um, go through these postures together, so let's get started. From a wide-legged forward fold, sit your hips down as low as you can get them, toes turned out, heels in. Press your elbows into your thighs, Lift up through the crown of your head, shoulders squeeze together behind you, chest forward, and your tailbone down towards the mat, activating your root chakra. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths all the way down to the base of your spine. Inhale and fully exhale and release. Place your hands down, come into a forward fold and walk your hands to the top of your mat and take a seat. Draw in your right knee, place the sole of your foot down, squeeze your knee in towards you. Lift your right hand up and place it back behind you, fingertips pointing away. Inhale, lift up through your left side body and exhale, twist. Now we're activating your sacral chakra. This is the area that is responsible for reproduction and creativity. So squeeze in that area as you lift and then soften into the twist. Keep breathing deeply here even though you're twisted. Inhale, extend your right leg and we'll switch over to the other side. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, twist. Hook your elbow to the outside of your knee. Lift up tall through your tailbone. Belly in towards your spine. Squeeze the sacral area and then twist. Your gaze can look over your left shoulder. Breathe deeply, as deeply as you can in this twist. Stay connected to this breath and this moment. Next, inhale, turn forward, extend your left leg to meet your right. Next is Navasana. Balance on your tailbone, lift your legs up. Couple variations here. As long as you keep the round out of your low back and your shoulders back, chest forward, you can keep your hands on the back of your legs, up high, or just floating next to your knees. Option to straighten your legs here or keep your knees bent. Exhale, lower down so that your heels stay lifted and your shoulders lifted. We're gonna take a couple of rounds here. Lift up, inhale, exhale, lower. Engaging the belly, the solar plexus area of the body responsible for willpower. Squeeze your belly. Navasana, hold, breathe, lengthen, through your spine, out the crown of your head. Inhale and exhale, release. Place the soles of your feet down about hip width distance apart. Hands next to your sides. Inhale, lift your hips. Exhale, lower your hips. Just a couple rounds here. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. With your breath, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Next one, stay and hold. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your inner thighs energetically in towards one another. Rock your shoulders side to side. Clasp your hands underneath your tailbone if you can. Chin away from your chest. Open your heart here. This is where we're activating your heart chakra. You can even imagine it opening, expanding, letting all the love from the universe in at this moment. 
exhale, release. Coming up to a seat, inhale. Hands come behind your hips, elbows down. Going into the throat chakra here for fish pose. Legs are together, heart lifted, head comes back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Open your throat. Let the crown of your head come down towards the floor. Breathe. Expand. Open. And make space for this energetic alignment. Last breath. Inhale. Rise up. Cross your ankles. Step back. Feet together, toes together, knees wide. Let your chest come down in between your thighs. Head connects to the mat. Active child's pose here. Keep your elbows lifted, hands pressed into the mat. Deep breaths into your third eye point. Rock your head even side to side. Feel the connection of the earth to your third eye. The intention of opening this important chakra for spiritual connection directly related to your sacral chakra for creativity and imagination last part of this uh, chakra sequence that we're going to do is to stimulate our crown chakra that's the very top of our head and this is our spiritual connection so no greater tool than um kundalini meditation or kundalini yoga to stimulate that spiritual connection this is the kirtan kriya it can be a very intense kriya so if you want to wrap your head or place like something over your forehead if you feel like you're getting a headache or the energy is strong this one is definitely recommended for that we'll be uh chanting We'll have posture and uh, mudra. And then I will post a song so that you can follow along with the mantra and then it'll take care of the timing of everything for you. So you can just follow along with that. So sitting up in a nice tall spine, um, energy centers lined up and then hands on are up and elbows are straight shoulders back, chin tucked. The mantra is sa ta na ma and you say it with a nice relaxed jaw in a singing type of sound. So sa ta na ma. Then the mudra is going to be pressing firmly sa ta na ma on each uh, finger. Make sure you press firm enough to feel those pressure points underneath. So thumb to first finger, sa, thumb to middle finger, ta, thumb to ring, na, and pinky, ma. So two minutes, you'll be out loud. Oh, and then something really important is as you are saying the vibration of this mantra, imagine that coming down through the crown of your head and out. So each sound will be flowing and you'll feel the movement and the vibration of the mantra, not only in your fingertips and the sound of your voice, but the flowing energy of the crown chakra throughout the third eye. Two minutes out loud, then two minutes in a whisper, then four minutes silently in your head, but still making sure that you're um, pressing your fingers on each sound. Then back to a whisper for two minutes, then two minutes out loud, and then you'll inhale, shake out your hands, hold your breath at the top, exhale, release. And then you can just sit in stillness for a few moments and absorb the meditation and the feeling that you've had. When you are done and complete, See if you can practice for 40 days in a row and see the shift and the change. This one has um, proven scientifically to increase the blood flow in the brain. It is really that powerful. You can 
definitely feel some physical benefits to it, but also tune into that energetic body that we have and how it's affecting you on those levels. Okay, enjoy the meditation and the movements of this practice. Get realigned and connected with your chakras and feel great, energized and ready for whatever it is you're ready to take on. Satnam.